Hi, welcome to Termite Machine Works. My name is Keith. Today we're starting a new project and uh, we have several components uh, on this, uh, this project that we're making and uh, this is uh, the only non-metal -al uh, alloy uh, that we're going to be working with and this is Delrin and of course this was in a long uh, bar and we cut it up into manageable lengths to hold in the lathe and then finish separating them into individual components from the one foot lengths there into the uh, the desired length that we're going to want and we we parted off in the lathe because uh, one it, it gives us a chance to put a, a finished machine surface on it and have minimal run out with saws and things like that the tendency to, to cut off to the side uh, and you have to machine a saw surface anyway um, so we can control more of the finished product faster uh, with a part off setup in the lathe and this is how we do that. into uh, ready machine uh, chunks and uh, we on all of them we have one machine side that we don't have to mess with uh, now this gets an outside diameter skim just a, a few thousands there uh, then it gets a, a smaller diameter turned on it and two o-ring grooves now we're going to go ahead and we're going to leave these set here and we're going to go over and we have a piece of one inch tool steel round and we're going to go whittle ourselves out a uh, tool bit that is going to put both of those o-ring grooves into these simultaneously to the finished depth all in one punch shot. Uh, so let's get on to that. Okay yeah uh, we've got a round diameter here we faced off this piece of tool steel here and this is going to be the uh, the leading edge of, of the tool bit which will be the far side or the farthest in o-ring groove and then we're going to go ahead with our parting tool we're going to come in here and we're going to shape cylindrical ring uh, cutouts and get our o-ring groove width and enough depth control in our cut uh, in this part here Okay, we got our O-ring grooves, um, each of them the right width, 
within a couple thousands and spaced apart within a couple thousands. Okay, this kind of gives you a good view of the profile of the tool that uh, uh, we're making. So this, each one of these is going to be an O-ring groove, uh, and then this is just clearance, and that's the standoff in between the two grooves. All right, so now we're going to go do some milling. Uh, we're going to slide this out and cut it off. All right, we come in here and we milled almost 50,000 shy of being exactly center line. Um, we're just going to go ahead, we're going to leave it right there, and we're going to twist it so that we can take a single pass across here to make sure that we're, we have enough clearance uh, after rake on the tool bed itself. Okay, besides uh, a little stoning, uh, you can see our tool bit that we're going to run those two o-ring grooves in there and uh, should do the trick okay this operation I pulled my jaws off of here so I got the flat face and I got uh, this these part of your jaws are always more accurate than the rest of them so I'm not worried about that it'll hold it concentric enough uh, but they don't stick out any more than about a half an inch and uh, so it leaves me a lot of free room out here to do some machine work. All right, so it's an easy in clamp. Now all we're doing is taking and cleaning the other face, bringing it to the right width, and then skimming the major diameter to match up the, the part that this is going to slide into as far as OD to OD. Just a clean face, brings it to width, and then that diameter. Okay, um, this is the tool bit that we've, we've made that's going to do the double O-ring groove and we're setting this up in, in our holder here. Uh, the holder block is already square with the part and this uh, Alora's holder has got a V-slot right in here so it holds that cylindrical part of my holder exactly true to the 90 of the part there. Now we're going to angle this down 
and we're just looking at the top we want a little bit of top rake back on the leaning back towards us and we want to sight it this way and make sure that we have enough in clearance on our for our chip you know to clear the part and we tighten that up now we want to go ahead and we want to set our height of the cutter so we'll come on over to the little dimple in the middle of the threads or the part over here and we're going to make sure that we're slightly below that all right and then we can wing this down and lock it if you wanted to choose to lock it at that point uh, if we have to lift it out and put it back in we can do that all right now we'll just set it up in a position we'll get it over here in front of our part here and uh, we're gonna touch off the back wall here we know that we're basically 250 thousandths out from that surface with our unit and the rest of it all should line up one two fifty all right and it says we should have like 260 out here and it looks pretty close to so 260. All right, here goes. Um, we're going to come in. I'm going to touch it. And we're going to set a dial of zero, and then we're going to feed it in the 170 thousandths depth. There's zero. Now 170 deep. There's 100. 70. Now, uh, this is supposed to be 260, we're 250. This is 160, it's supposed to be 168 on the drawing. And this is uh, basically 250, and we're like 240. Um, we're, we're within the realm of, of you know, what an O-ring groove actually needs to have in this place here, and uh, straight in plunge. So we're... Um, we're just going to make the uh, adjustment on our depth and uh, we're ready to start going. We can live with the rest of that. I don't mind short runs like this from time to time and with a little bit of uh, thinking on the uh, tooling, form tooling, it's basically what I call this, same as if you were uh, uh, creating a radius with a straight plunge tool bit or an L shape, uh, uh, any particular shape that you're going to uh, put into the tool bit to put that specific shape right onto your part uh, would be form tooling in my mind. And it made this short run even a little shorter. Get her done.